guys, Dead Walters here. Uh, answer a question from subscriber Mike Davey regarding the One Plane Swing Series and trying to collaborate that into the pitching side of things. Um, I wouldn't say that there was a, a one plane pitching technique per se, um, but what I would say for you, Mike, is if you were to get the feeling that the golf club and the torso and the arms all move together as one unit in both directions. So taking your setup position, I always like to get a little bit more pressure in this lead foot here, just to make sure that our angle of attack is just gently downward, just so we've got a nice crisp and ball turf and strike. But we want to feel like torso, hands, club, arms, are all moving as one piece. So you want to really initiate it then with the body. If I said for you to get a feeling that you turned the torso behind you a little bit and then turned it back through a little bit and then just let the hands and the arms and the club just follow that motion really and then the length of your movement will start to control your distance um, when you're hitting it a little bit further so maybe you want to pitch it out 50 60 70 yards there's always going to be then a little bit more of a full swing feeling a little bit more of a wrist set going through there as well so just practice hitting some shots ball centrally in your stance feel a bit of pressure on this lead side and just try and feel the torso dominates it and the arms and the club go together so you've got everything moving as one unit so we're going a little bit of a turn back, turn through and just pitching it forward. And then varying the loft on the club, I've got my 54 degree wedge here, but just varying the loft from, you know, you could do a 9-9, you could go into right up into your, your lob wedge, your most lofted clubs. So just getting that same feeling, so turn the torso, turn it back through and just let it pitch forward and just get used to that feeling, you could, you know, start maybe getting used to little shorter moves and just pump it forward and then get used to the feeling of how far you're going to feel like you turn to how far you're then going to pitch the golf ball so when we look at it from our down to target line view we can see that if I make a, a smaller turn, club's not travelling as far, so I'll probably pitch it into this little bunker that's in front of us here. So in that one there, just pitched it into the face. And then if I make a bigger turn, so if I make myself turn back, facing the camera angle there, turning back through, club's going to travel a little bit further and then we're going to pitch it out further, you'll see onto the driving range. So we see difference in height, difference in the flight and the control from that point of view there. But I would say don't worry about thinking too much one plane, but just get almost one movement from the body, the arms and the club themselves, making sure you've got a fraction of pressure on that lead leg just to give yourself a really nice angle of attack. Thanks for the question, Mike. Really appreciate that. Guys, as always, any questions, post them in the comments box below. Love to hear what you guys have got to say. Like the video, give it the thumbs up, share it around, subscribe to the channel plenty of free content there lots more free content are coming lots of exciting things happening as well over the coming sort of three four five months this year as well so stay tuned for all that to unfold on YouTube guys thanks for watching as always look forward to seeing you again next time